Welcome to Orlando Speed World for the kickoff of the Outlaw Diesel Super Series presented by Hot Shot Secret. A seven race calendar that takes us to tracks all over east of the Mississippi. It's a good time had by all and you'll not find better camaraderie and communal friendship than you will in this pit area as we try to set some records and show off the best that we can in this industry. The feel in my seat, there was no shake, nothing. This year, a brand new event for us. We've teamed up with Florida Truck Meet to make some things happen in front of a brand new fan base for us that's maybe never seen some of the stuff that we're going to do today and tomorrow. Ralph Maybryer from Total Venue Concepts is behind me making a god-awful noise, but one of the best noise is in drag racing because it means things are about to go really, really fast. Yeah. You ready for this? Always. Feels pretty good to be back to racing, huh? Yeah, if it makes it down the damn track final. That'll make it. Not, gonna have to pay for it. Gilbert and Pro Mod with Tire Shake didn't really get down the racetrack.
throttles backwards, like we need to add more power so we don't knock the tire off. I don't know. Is that <laughs> no, I mean you've only got two choices. You take power out or you add it. Right. So it's a power issue. So I tire. mean yesterday when it shook really hard on the starting line, we added more power on the starting line than it came off the starting line. So I would think the same thing applies here, unless we're just still too slow early and it's just, you know, exaggerating it once we pour the power in it. So we'll find out pretty quick if we put more power in it and it shakes. <laughs> might hurt a little more. Yeah, it might. Uh, do some nice A to B today. Q2, Q1, we blew the tires off. Junior put too much sauce in it. We wanted, tried something different and it was definitely different, didn't like it. So go back to a nice A to B pass. So hopefully something in the teens, 4.0s, 14s, something like that. Damn. Nice, beautiful track, beautiful weather. How's it yeah, feel to be racing again? Oh yeah, I love it. First race of the year, man. Couldn't be a, couldn't be a better place for me right now than right here. Damn right. <laughs> well, good luck, brother. Thanks, man. Kind of threw like a, a big boy tune up in it for the first Q1, knocked the tires off. The track was really, really good. We thought we could get away with a little more than we normally do. That bit us in the first go around. So backed it down to our get it down the track A to B tune up. Got out of the hole really good. About half track or just before half track, it had some uh, backfire, lean popping back through the like nitrous pop backfire. Just kind of lifted, ran up 550, just coasting. We're gonna check out some gremlins here and hopefully be ready for uh, Q3 tomorrow. So we had like a low like a 14 or a 16, 414, 416 tune up in it uh, that we've ran plenty, plenty times. So uh, should should go down, we just got a gremlin to work out. So I added some extra water injection to cool down some EGTs and I think the motor's not happy with it. So we're going back to our normal water nozzle size and hopefully that fixes the issue. What is it like to be back out racing again? Man, it feels yeah, really good. Yeah. feels really good, man. Being cute, I mean, you know, from the, from the north country there, northern Indiana, uh, it's cold. The boys back at the shop said it's 40 degrees today and it uh, feels good to come down here and get in the sunshine and, and break this car out. We've been bench racing all winter so now we're gonna we do it for real. We, we, we always push ourselves hard like uh, when we won the points championship last year um, I think I think this year we're, we're gonna more focus on uh, just a lot more testing uh, trying to get faster so uh, trying to set some new records this year we have a goal to be in the threes uh, for sure. And then uh, I have a personal goal. I want to go 200 mile an hour in the eighth mile. That's a goal. It may, may not happen this year, but it will happen. 
uh, we'll see how far we can push this thing. It feels good to to know that you know you can push hard for a goal and attain it. You know, I won, won four championships with the ODSS, uh, one in Pro Mod and two, or well, three in Pro, Pro Street. Um, so it would be awesome to uh, push for that again this year. But I think, like, as our main focus as a team, we're just going to try to make this hot rod fast. The whole reason I wanted to get into a door car, big tire thing, was so that we could get out and race with the gas guys when we're ready to do it. So we need to be in that three-second zone to be uh, 380s, 390s to kind of break into the, into the field there. I really feel like this, this combination can go 380s at 205-ish in that range with the power we have to play with. We just have to be able to manage it, see if we can tame the beast. Welcome to day two of the Florida Truck Meet race number one for the Hot Shot Secret Outlaw Diesel Super Series season. modified record speed 194 miles an hour and that was after significant chassis changes Lynn Miller said that they went kitchen sink on the car knowing that the power plant was proven the chassis just was not wanting to behave triumph and tribulation for some of our teams. Some guys have found out a secret to success while others are still battling their gremlins. It's going to be eliminations time momentarily and it's going to be time to race. The moment for trying things is over. It's time to find out who can beat who. Lane to lane.
Just reset the record to uh, 410 ET. Last year we set it at the first race at a 414, so it feels pretty good. How does it feel to come out and go through the weekend? I know at some point, you know, you guys were shaking a tire a bit, it, you know, yeah. trying to get it figured out. Yeah, we had some gremlins, man, that's for sure. The team came together and worked through some stuff. Had a couple gremlins, did a couple things, fixed some things, shook some tires, tried some stuff that didn't work so good, and then got back to base on race day. How does it feel to uh, to have some competition in Pro Mod? You actually had a couple extra vehicles this this oh, yeah. weekend, so oh, you yeah. guys. Yeah, man, five five in the in the group this this uh, first race, so that's good. Uh, more more getting built in the background for sure to be out later in the year. Larson and I were talking, man. The last time we lined up was two years ago at UCC when they retired the S10. I, I got a double. No, a triple O O O light on him. I think he went red at that that time, but it was like the last time we lined up was the, the last time they ran the S10. So, and this is the first time we've lined up, you know, this year. It's all smiles. You guys are back and forth happy, but it looks like you guys are going to continue to push each other forward. Yeah. Like, oh, you yeah. know, the record good. was gonna, broken gonna and taken next, back. Next race, I guarantee the record's going to be pushed farther. Guaranteed. So do you think that with that kind of competition, like how far are you guys going to push this year? Uh, well, I got a personal goal, like I said, probably 200 miles an hour. Um, I think it's there, it's just, you know, sneaking up on it. Uh, 380s is where I want to be. Uh, if I can get in the 380 range at 200 this year, that'd be amazing. Who left the tree first? I did. <laughs> I treat him pretty good. So, good stuff. Well, it's awesome to see you guys are, you know, starting the year off with points lead, oh, first yeah. victory. Yep. Little check New record action. set. Back back to base man the champs back the champ is back <laughs> and then gonna turn it right around in two weeks and head to Rudy's oh yeah we're gonna be down North Carolina Rockingham here in two weeks uh, can't wait to see y'all there I love that track uh, when we were there last year they def they definitely went and put some money in that track um, and there's some fast fast cars on, on that track for sure hey we were excited because uh, it's been a long time since we've raced in competition last year we Brought the car out, worked through a lot of new bugs. Uh, this winter, we continued working out some bugs in the power plant, getting everything dialed in. And this weekend, we had yet to go up beside another car and bump in, because with the Liberty and the tie drive, it has a band that's air actuated. It's a lot harder to get the bump function to work than it is with the Rossler. Thursday and Friday in testing, we only made one pass down the track out of eight attempts. And so we were kind of like last night, putting our heads together, we last minute this morning yanked the trans out, changed the stator in the torque converter. We put a fresh set of tires on it. Just kind of studying the data, thinking like this is the direction we want to go. Either way, it was kind of a Hail Mary. And in Q3, it goes out and runs a 412 at 194. So almost 10 mile an hour faster than we've ever been, even in the S10. So it gives us a lot of high hopes that we've got, we're able to make the horsepower uh, that we need to be able to run the, the numbers that we want to run eventually. You know, I'd like to get the thing to bottom 380s this this season at least, if not faster. But we are able to go E3 or Q3 and then E1, uh, made a solid pass, shut down early, and went into finals against Johnny. And the car worked good, bumped in, but we had tickled the fuel curve a little bit, tried to put a little bit more in it, and it rattled the tires again. So all together. I'm not mad about it. We uh, had a lot of fight this weekend, and today overall was a great day because we made some clean passes, uh, had some record numbers, and we're ready to go back to a test day. If we can get eight passes in a test day, we can get our 60 foot knocked down, and I think we'll be deep into the threes pretty quickly. And how does that feel? I mean, the mile per hour record is insane. You held the AT record for a second, and then. <laughs> Johnny takes it away. Yeah, he won a 410 in the finals against us. Ultimately, you know, records are fun. I, I want to progress forward and knowing that uh, we have the horsepower on tap or mile an hour records don't win any races. Ultimately, we need to get our 60 foot knocked down. That way we don't have to beat up on the engine. There's no point in beating up on the engine making 3300 horsepower out the back door if you're 60 foot slow. Uh, so that's what we'll focus on next. Go to a test day, get our 60 foots back to where we want them to be. And, uh, in the sub 1-0 area. That's the goal. We've been a 992 and a couple test sessions we went 101s pretty consistently. So I know we can at least get 10s to 0 0.9 something in there if we get the converter right. So that move that we changed that we made this morning was obviously the right direction. We're having to go back and go testing. 
and uh, hopefully be ready for Rudy's here in two weeks. Do you think it's possible that we'll see Pro Mod 200 mile an hour passes side by side? I think it's possible. Yeah, I mean it's 200 mile an hour is a big number. Um, and when we were with a running 186, like on Thursday we ran 183, and I was looking at the numbers, I'm like, man, I'm just not quite sure that 200 is really attainable. Came back from that pass and we figured out that the one nitrous bottle wasn't turned all the way on and our nitrous pressure had gone all the way down to 378 pounds. So we're like, well, maybe the nitrous bottle pressure had just got too low, robbed us some horsepower, and we didn't change anything on the power curve. The only difference was to open the nitrous bottle further and it went from 183 to 194. So uh, it gave me confidence that uh, we can go fast.